Welcome. Greetings. Do my eyes play tricks? Is it Geralt, the famed White Wolf? Indeed. How do you know me? I've heard about you from our friend, Mausak. I lost my memory and don't remember Mausak. A pity. Perhaps I can help, if you stay for a few years. I must attend to urgent matters. Yes. Bandits have appeared in the swamp. The trees told me you slew every last one. We are very grateful, Wolf. We have mutual friends? You might say so. My former poker partner, Mausak, mentioned you. It has been a while since we last met. I play. So we might sit down to a game sometime. We could indeed play. They say you're clever. Let's see. In way. Yes. What do you think of the Scoia'tael? I'm uninterested in political conflicts. The druids prevail because we possess nothing that kings covet. They, in turn, know we pose no threat to their power. They may disapprove of you sheltering Scoia'tael. We help all those in need as long as they respect our customs. The elves respect and understand nature. And humans do not. Not all, sadly. Rivers near cities are befouled with waste. Once great forests are logged without restraint. Animals that once thrived have become scarce. I see. Yes. Gwyn Blade. Gwyn Blade. What's that mean? White Wolf. You know me? Your name precedes you. You may know more than me. I remember nothing of my past. Some things are better forgotten. Nevertheless, I do feel sorry for you. Can you help? Sadly, no. Perhaps my sisters from Brokilon could help, but they are far away. Tell me about Brokilon. Brokilon is the Dryad homeland, a wilderness untouched by humans. Those surrounding Brokilon wish to claim our forests and thus humans and Dryads fight continuously along the borders. Who is winning? Our archers are matchless, but how long can we resist the brute force that rendered humans the world's rulers? So you agree with the elves and dwarves fighting for independence? Those children? They have long forgotten the struggle's meaning, craving blood and revenge, having only contempt for humans. They fail to see they begin to resemble the humans themselves. We merely defend our home, Gwynblade, and have no ambition of driving humans into the sea. Why don't you reach a compromise with the humans? Ha! Huh. You treat concessions as weaknesses and believe acts of goodwill are traps. You will never accept our otherness. Tell me about your lives. Brokilon is our home, Ithlin our lady. We live in harmony with the forest, flowing through the thickets and knowing the forest's secrets. Are you happy? Like humans, we have joys and sorrows, though our end is near. The war with the humans continues and our numbers diminish. What are you doing here? It is a secret. Though I'm taking the chance to visit this grove of old, beautiful trees. That's sad. Greetings! Much has changed. Townsfolk have violated our swamp. Hmm. Who are these strangers? Dry ones! How dreadful. They drove off the lumberjacks and many were slain. They carry off our kin. The Water Lords are angry. Only the Druids dare remain in the grove. Anything else while I was away? A great battle between a man with a fiery soul and an elven lord. Who won? Our lords were victorious. Praise be to them! May I ask a question? What? I heard you're having problems. Drowners again? Yes. 
But we have another problem. Speak, Veska. Bandits with salamander badges are forcing my kin to gather herbs. That's very interesting. They separate our kin into groups. Armed guards watch them. Where are they? I saw one group by the Fallen Tower. Please help them. I'll reward you. Their boss, Roland Blyneim, is an evil man. Kill him. I'll do just that. Tip that! I'll make you scream. Mess with me and die. Just in time. Return home. May you never suffer drought. What do you know about Salamandra? They forced us to gather herbs, make fistic. One group hides in the cave near the old logging area. Salamandra is involved in the drug trade? Thanks. Return home. We are saved. At last. No, I came on my own. You're free. Hear that, everyone? We're going home. Before you go, tell me what you know about Salamandra. They held us at a camp. One group may be by the old logging area. Thank you. The Salamandra! Thanks be to the Lords. You're free. We wish to reward you. What is Salamandra doing in the swamp? They're based at the former non-humans camp. You'd need an army to drive them out. Thanks, I'll remember that. What? I freed all the brickmakers. They confirmed Salamandra's evil deeds. I thank you for your bravery. If you are to destroy the bandits, seek the Hierophant in the grove. The druids are watching Salamandra. I'll do that. I know how best to reward you. Hmm? I bestow upon you the Water Lord's blessing. You may bathe in the holy waters of the swamp and rejoice! I feel truly honored for... for who is greater than the Water Lords? We could use more rain.
Geralt. Triss, about Alvin. Mm-hmm. Is he safe? Yes. Dandelion brought him here and explained. I knew I could count on you. Is Shawnee clear about this? No? Then go tell her the boy stays with me. End it. I... Well, if I have to. Though I'd rather face a swarm of ghouls. Geralt. I'll see you later. Geralt, teach me to sword fight? No, Alvin. Swords are not toys. You'll understand when you're older. But I want to learn how to fight. She doesn't let me eat sweets. Delicious. Thank you. Indeed. The bliss of me. Yes? I need help with an investigation in the Temple Quarter. The Salamanders have a share in the Fistek trade. What of it? Know anyone who buys Fistek? The guard Jethro? Right. Press him harder. He's sure to talk. We need time. Return later. You're huge and ugly. Mother hates me speaking with strangers. Greetings. What pays well? A huge wolf has appeared in the swamp, and the locals claim wyverns steal their children. Wyverns don't hunt humans without provocation. Local. I killed an old female wyvern. Here's proof. Six hundred orans is yours. Farewell. Witcher! I heard sounds of fighting. They're all dead. Almost. Almost? Unfortunately, their leader escaped. We'll find him. You deserve a medal. Look how they grow. I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? I finished that and have proof. Excellent. Here's your gold. It's all well, Geralt. I left the boy with Triss to keep him safe. How could you? She cast a spell on you. Out of my sight. I will forget your very name. <laughs> Geralt? How's your leg? Fine. A mere scratch. Everything all right? I'm to receive a medal for saving the property of some townspeople. I see. You'd be eligible, but medals are only awarded to knights. Unless... No. I won't join with that vow of celibacy. I understand. Hey, the Grand Master himself is going to present the medal to me. Yes? Did you get your medal? They haven't set a date for the ceremony. I'm overwhelmed I'm to speak to the Grand Master afterwards. He's a true visionary, Geralt. A visionary? Jack de Aldersburg, Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose, is a man destined for great things. Time will tell. Yes? Goodbye. You? <laughs> we must speak. About what? You won't toss me into the sewers again. <laughs> this is how it works. I describe a job. If you refuse, it's the dungeon for you. Like to gamble? I do. Gamble? I wager I can cut off your nose before you can sneeze again. A little edgy today, are we? Listen, I know the people with the Salamander badge have long been after you. <laughs> I know where they can be found. Deal with them, and your problems are over. And, in the process, you'll help me out too. How about it? We'll see. Tell me what you know. Salamandra has nearly taken control of the drug trade. If no one stands against them, 
Why should I care? They're after you. Destroy them. Take the information you need and return here. Oh, and gather any drugs you find as evidence. Where do I begin? An informer spoke of a dealer called Angus who holds some powder. He works in the slums. We must know where he gets his goods. He's often at the tavern. What is it? I'm here about the notice. Right. Do you have the juices? I do. Splendid. Here's the gold. Who are you? No matter. You, Angus? What the fuck does no matter mean? I need some stuff. Who said I sell anything? Jethro. This is way over your head. You're making a big mistake. Spit it out. Who are your suppliers? Eat me. I'm out of here. Ha! Yeah. You're one stubborn son of a whore. I'll make you regret this. I asked nicely and got nothing. Maybe this will work. Scram! What's beyond the grate? Not your concern. Get lost. Any reason why you're in the sewers? We're rat catchers. Now bugger off! Private off. property! Didn't hear me? Out! Angus said I might score some fist tech here. Since when does he have friends like you? Give me the password, or we'll tie your balls into a Zeracanian knot. Word. I'm sure you'll find this funny. Private property! <laughs> Well, look who's here. Witcher Geralt. Angus sent me. Who you trying to fool, Witcher? You've entered a lion's den, wolf pup. You dare <laughs> challenge the Salamatra! <laughs>
don't need me. I'm working. This isn't easy, you know. Yeah, I know, I know. We're behind. Andra. Good work. Go talk to Jethro outside. Duty cool. Good work. Jethro waits for you up there. Good work, Witcher. A few people died, but I'll turn a blind eye. Self-defense. Well done. The community is better without their kind. Back to business. Where hides the Fiztech producer? Gellert's the one responsible. Great. I will secure the evidence and the drugs. <laughs> For the public good, of course. You deal with Gellert. Excellent plan. Perhaps I should kill everyone involved in trafficking Fiztech? Or maybe I inform Vincent you're seizing goods. What roils you? You got all you wanted. That's the only reason I'm still talking to you. But don't give me any more orders. Is that clear? As a bell. But we still must deal with Gellert. Fistech softens your brain. I'll do it. Get ready, Geralt. Don't worry about me. I have my potions. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? I'm here about the notice. Yes, the wyvern meets. You have three pieces? I do. Your coin. A witcher? They said your kind was extinct. Very nearly. I'm Geralt. I'd rather not reveal my true name, my knightly vows. If you wish, you may call me Patrick de Wazy. <clears throat> of the, uh, Flaming Rose? Indeed, I'm a member. Perhaps you could lend me some assistance. With what? My sister. Will you hear her story? One day we found her unconscious in bed. Blood trickled from fang marks on her neck. We had no doubts. A vampire. Fang marks don't necessarily mean a vampire. These clearly did. For after a time, my sister disappeared. She must have been transformed and then escaped. If she is a vampire, I'll have to. Above all, I would like you to find her. Confirm our suspicions. All right. I'll look for your sister. You should have no trouble recognizing her. None can ignore her as your eyes. She is a slim, beautiful blonde. I'll do what I can. Greetings, sir. Greetings, blue-eyed one. What would you have, my white-haired lord? I wanted to start out talking. All right, let's speak. Giacomo Cassano claims nothing surpasses cultured conversation as foreplay. I'd like to spend the evening with you. With pleasure, white-haired one. But you must first make a contribution to the House of the Night. A mere 500 orins. Thank you. Follow me. I wanted to experience this fantasy of mine. Patience. First a hot bath. Then your dreams will come true. Oh! 
balls. What is it? I killed the drug lord. Strange. Admitting to a guard you killed a human? I jest. <laughs> You've done well. <laughs> now, take your payment and go. <laughs> Maybe you should disappear. Me? I don't get it. Deal Fistek again, and I'll make sure you're never found. Okay, don't worry. I'm a law enforcement officer. Farewell, Jethro. Remember what I said. Greetings, stranger. Oh, be not afraid of Ada. She growls, but she doesn't bite. Usually. <laughs> the dog's name is Ada? She is a bitch. Plus, she's pampered and spoiled. The name of the king's daughter suits her perfectly. Do you know Princess Ada? Oh, my wife is a laundress at the palace. So I'm aware of the gossip in court. I'd be happy to listen, if I could look at your goods. Mm, certainly. I have the finest quality meat. I slaughter the animals myself. We'll see. Mm. What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she's said. Foltest, Velorad, Duet, Jacques de Oldersburg, Medigold, who are you interested in? Tell me about Foltest. Need I tell you all I know? He slept with his own sister and begat Ada. Ill tidings indeed. A curse turned the girl into a striga. A witcher dispelled the curse from the princess, and Foltest was so overjoyed, he spoiled the girl rotten. The little striga became a childish whore. Interesting. Thanks. Hmm? What does your wife say about the <laughs> It would take What's the word on Velorad? Our burgomaster drinks too much and can no longer manage the city's affairs. No wonder, since to curry favor in the court, it is to be a marionette and jump when the king pipes a tune. <laughs> Look around. Bandits, monsters, and city hall is silent. Velorad should step down. Interesting. Thanks. Hmm? What does your wife <laughs> What have you heard about Roderick DeWitt? Ah, the Nilfgaardian. He sticks to Ada like a burr on a dog's tail. But that threshold's high, even for a count. Moreover, he's a knight of the order. So as someone sworn to celibacy, he can only plow the princess in secret. DeWitt represents the order in court, but I'd say he represents the empire of Nilfgaard and the imperial ambitions of the Black Ones. Interesting. Thanks. Mm. What does your wife say? <laughs> what about Jacques de Aldersburg? Grand Master sounds grandiose, doesn't it? Rarely does anyone recall that the Order of the Flaming Rose was once the Order of the White Rose. Now the once proud knights are racists and intriguers, acting under the guise of the highest ideals. Tis the Grand Master's doing. Before his knighthood, Jacques was a vagrant blinded by hatred of elves. One doesn't change so easily. Interesting. Thanks. Hmm? 
What does your wife say about the other co- <laughs> Any gossip about Triss Marigold? Certainly. The women at the palace laundry love to gossip about other women. Well, they have the same opinion as any with common sense. A sorcerer's place is in the tower, brewing potions and devising horoscopes from stars rather than meddling in politics. Furthermore, she's shameless to display her ass in such provocative attire. Well, if Ada didn't already hold title as Queen of the Whores, Marigold would have it in a trice. Interesting. Thanks. Hmm? What does your wife say about the other courtiers? <laughs> it would take weeks to repeat all she said. Full test? Any gu- Certainly. Well, if- Later. Do you recognize me? Anything about me? Sure. The laundresses gossip about you. And? They say you chase anything in a skirt, but you're a real dog for sorceresses. Supposedly, you loved one once. <laughs> they say you're as likely to whip out your sword as you are to whip out your, um, um yeah, <clears throat> a master at both arts. Women fear your fickleness, but you fascinate them. Hey, women. Hmm. Thanks. Hmm? Don't you fear bad-mouthing authorities during martial law? At worst, they'll throw me in the dungeon. I believe we must speak true even of the ruling class. This is our right. Bold words. Indeed. I have no intention to fear a dictatorship based on the exploitation of common men. I will not cower under the grim repression of oligarchs and aristocrats who have enthroned a wrongdoer, a man whose hands are stained with blood. You exaggerate. Foltest's rule can't be that unpleasant. Ah, plague upon Foltest! I spit on monarchy, which long has been corrupt. Strange views. The people should rule. Common people like you and me. You're right. I figured you were a reasonable man, even if a mutant and a pawn. Enough of that already. Mm. Later. Yes? There's a blue-eyed courtesan at the whorehouse. My sister would never degrade herself so. I have proof. I saw fang marks on her neck just as you described. How did this happen? She must be under some spell, that of the vampire who bit her. Perhaps she too has been transformed. Maybe. Witcher, you must help. The vampire clearly haunts the brothel. I'll do what I can. Yes? I have the papers you wanted. Great. I'll deliver them to our codebreakers. Return tomorrow. We'll assay our next move. I'm in the mood to spin a tale. I'd be glad to listen. My throat is parched. Fetch me a drink and I'll gladly share my knowledge. What would you like? Milk. Exactly what I needed. I'm listening. The basilisk's horrifying gaze turns to stone all who venture into its underground lair. Wise treasure seekers take mirrors, yet mirrors are no protection against the lizard's deadly venom. One bite, and the victim lies dead. Great story. Made my flesh crawl. Farewell. Geralt. Uh, I spoke with Shani. She understood, but didn't take it too well. I'm glad that's settled. Alvin needs someone who knows magic. Geralt, I wanted to talk to you about the future. About us. Triss. I'm not jealous. I'd just like to know where we are. Can't this wait? I have this job. Clients getting impatient. Please think about it, Geralt. We needn't talk. A symbolic gift would do. Say, a ring? Couldn't you just read my mind? I could, but I don't want to. If you give me a ring, I'll treat it as a pledge. If you don't, I'll try to understand. See you, Witcher. Geralt, how's Alvin? Dandelion, do you always have to butt your nose into... 
Just asking. Something troubling you? She's just... Uh, I don't know anymore. Let's go. Can't talk about women on an empty stomach. But... No buts. Zoltan and I agreed to have a drink today. A mercenary dwarf and a wandering troubadour who knows all the loose women in town. I couldn't choose better advisors. Let's go. Hey, Zoltan. Greetings, Dandelion. Get out. Our monster slayer looks bitter. Something happened? Nothing you need to know. Geralt is experiencing cognitive dissonance, a rather unpleasant tension that accompanies the appearance of two conflicting cognitions, be they thoughts or judgments. You're so full of shit, Dandelion. Simply put, he cannot decide. I assume the dissonance relates to it. My dissonance is nothing to you. That's where you're wrong, Geralt. We're your only friends, and friends help each other. You'll see. We'll have a drink, and you'll know exactly what to do about Triss. Somehow I don't think so. Ooh, the vodka's nicely chilled. Gentlemen, cheers! Damn all dissonances! Ooh, delicious. Nothing like a good belt of liquor. Yeah, not bad. Incidentally, Zoltan, why are we drinking from tankards? I swear I saw glass in here. Serious problems require serious solutions. Half measures get you nowhere. I get it. Half measures for Dandelion, though. He yammers enough as it is. Will you stop whimpering like a spoiled lass and spit it out? Triss is a fine woman. But? But I'm a witcher. Killing monsters is my destiny. Don't bullshit me about destiny, Geralt. I realized long ago that all those pathetic bits by Etlina and the like are the same crap and humbug as those dissonances. You may be right, but honestly, do you see me as a cobbler or a farmer? Mm, no. I guess I see your point. Damn it, I don't get it. What's one got to do with the other? No one said you'd have to stop slaying monsters, right? She didn't say either way. Let me explain, Dandelion. Just because a woman doesn't say it, doesn't mean she doesn't want it. In fact, they often say they want something when they really want the opposite. I'll drink to that. Oof. Strong enough to make you cry. I'll tell you what's up with dames. You can theorize all you want, but you'll never figure out what's going on inside their heads. There's just no understanding women. Highly original, Dandelion. Sneer away, but you won't put me off. The problem is you don't know what you want. And you don't know what you're talking about. I've never had a family, but I am a poet. I know something about people. Tell me this. Do you want a family or not? Oh, Dandelion, it's not that simple. Answer the question. You know what I mean. If it weren't for this mess, Scoia'tael, the Order, Salamandra... If you only knew how much, Dandelion. Right. The family is the fundamental unit of society. <laughs> eh, screw it all. I've got the hiccups. That's not exactly what I was thinking of. I just want to settle down. I've heard that tone before. <laughs> Let's have another drink. I can't throw these damn hiccups. I know. Let's go to a whorehouse. Make it your stag night. Dandelion, we were talking about relationships in case you didn't notice. Besides, they won't let me in. I'm a filthy non-human. Only the weight of your purse counts at the house of the night. Besides, the madam owes me a favor. Come on, Geralt. Live a little. Do they have dwarf women there? Sure they do. It's the best whorehouse in Tamaria. So, Geralt, you coming? Mm. I'm telling you. Nothing like a trip to the whorehouse to get you thinking clearly. All right. Let's go. One for the road. She doesn't let me eat sweets. Delicious. Thank you. Good 
good, sir. Do you need a boat? I... I had to come here. What's wrong? I... I can't bring myself to say it. You seem distressed and scared. Maybe I can help, but you'll have to tell me what's wrong. My man... He's sick. I have to help him before it's too late. He's a werewolf, and I don't want him killed. Werewolves are tough to kill, and witchers don't always kill monsters. Whenever possible, we lift curses and spells. How are you planning to help him? Fat Sophie told me the druids may have a potion I could buy. That's possible. Witcher? The swamp's too dangerous. I'll ask the druids for medicine for you. Thank you. I'll wait at home. The building opposite the tavern in the slums. Yes? I come on behalf of a woman whose beloved transforms into a werewolf. She wishes to find a cure. You're a witcher. You should know how to treat lycanthropy. I may have known once, but I can no longer recall the method. I know several cures for lycanthropy, though I've not put any to the test myself. What of a magical cure? An elixir? I know not how to prepare one. You should question an experienced alchemist. I have heard a shirt made with fool's parsley may help. Really? Yes. Gather five leaves of fool's parsley and tell the woman to weave them into a shirt. Then her lover should wear it for the night. Thanks for the advice. There is also one folk remedy. I'm embarrassed to mention it, but it is said Pure, unconditional love changes beasts into men. I'll remember that, too. Remember this. Lycanthropy is a disease that penetrates ever deeper. Before endeavoring to remove the curse, you must make sure the werewolf is still a man at heart. Why? If he is not, he'll continue the slaughter. Even once cured, remain nothing more than a monster. I see. I'll try to learn the werewolf's identity. Yes. Farewell. Greetings. You've returned safely. The Hierophant revealed the cure for lycanthropy, but I must know your beloved's name. I'll not betray my man's identity. I'd rather he stay a werewolf. Let's hope your loyalty isn't his doom. Only my man is important now. Ah. We're closed. The Lady of the Night won't see just anyone. I have something for your mistress. You have something, you say? So go to a brothel and put it to good use. Shove off. I thought this was a brothel. This is the Night House, the best brothel in Temeria. It's not for vagabonds in leather rags. I have gold. You won't bribe me. I don't intend to. Time to die! I'm doomed. Come in. Well, is that polite? Barging in without an invitation? I'm here on business. Then refusing to answer questions. The Geralt of Rivia I heard of was a courteous Witcher. Forgive me, madam. I lost my memory. I know, Witcher. I followed your deeds for some time. Why the interest? My lover, whom I've never forgotten, called you friend. He perished helping you battle a powerful foe. But that was long ago. What brings you here? A vampire haunts this house. The marks on the neck of one of the girls. I can name quite a few ordinary animals that leave marks such as those. The girl's brother believes she would never work in a brothel of her own free will. He believes she must be spellbound. And you believe that? Don't be naive. 
The girl lives like a princess here. She wears the finest silks. Clients sell their estates to spend a single night with her. She enjoys servants and comforts you couldn't dream of. Her brother wished to give her in marriage to some old fool with hemorrhoids larger than a... No matter. She, on the other hand, desires to be a princess of the night, an eternally beautiful forbidden fruit. Vizima's dream. What are you talking about? I sensed that when I drank her blood. What are you looking at? Yes, I am the vampire who haunts this house. Yet I never kill. Blood energizes me, like alcohol does humans. In any case, I've never hurt a soul. This is nonsense. My daughters and I drink our customers' blood. We never kill. Their blood pays for our services. Everyone profits. And the blue-eyed girl? She summoned me herself. In her dreams, fantasies, she yearned for freedom and eternal beauty. We're not monsters, Geralt. I'll offer you a deal. One night with my daughters in exchange for peace. For forgetting this entire matter. And if I don't consent? Someone will die. You, me, the blue-eyed girl? Would it be right to choose death? Even the death of a vampire? You win. I'll leave you be. Come, dear daughters. Time to show the Witcher the source of all legends about the House of the Night. Traitor! I knew I shouldn't trust a witcher! Why this intrusion, knight? I had you followed! You've consulted with a vampire, and you'll die with her! Don't do anything stupid. No one needs to die here. You have proven yourself the stupid one, witcher. Now reap your punishment! Stop! You don't stand a chance against us! Us? My dear sister, we are here to save you, to lift this evil spell that binds you! There is no spell! Your sister is here of her own volition. She was unwilling to spend her life washing dishes and spreading her legs for a rotting old man. Enough lies! Attack! Wait. <laughs> She's right. There's no spell your sister chose. Witcher, you just dug your own grave! I may indeed have dug one, but not for me. Attack! <laughs> I regret this had to end so. These men doubtless promised you gold. I could grant you a share of my profits. What now? Now? Business will return to normal. We simply need to clear the corpses. And the girl? She'll do as she pleases. We'll let her rest for a time. So there was no spell? How should I know? I cast none. Spells can often be hard to distinguish from fascinations. I killed humans, and I should be killing monsters. The lesser evil, Geralt. You must choose it at times, to avoid the greater evil that lurks in the darkness.
was my first time witnessing a witch's sword in action. I've no desire to see more. Your brother is dead. Finally, he got his just desserts. That fool nearly ruined my life. No regrets? None. You have no idea what horrors I experienced before escaping him. He'll torment you no more. Thank you, Witcher. Thank you for your humanity. You mentioned times past. Could you tell me about your man? I never said he was a man. More importantly, you were a friend to him. Alas, Regis just drank too much. Thus we parted. His habit nearly killed him. Angry peasants attacked him. After he recovered, he led a loner's life. Until he met you. Sadly, I remember nothing. Don't concern yourself with that. I appreciate that at his death he had friends. True friends. Take care. Yes? I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? Certainly. Thank you. Now sign the receipt. Next! Ah, crap. Greetings. What pays well? A huge wolf was- Wyvern's- Local. I killed a huge wolf. Here's its head. Not on my table, Mr. Geralt. Stinks of disease. Here's 600 orins. Farewell. Sure you're not spoiling Alvin? I don't want him getting fussy. It's a beautiful ring. But? Well, I'd like you to spend more time with Alvin. The boy needs some discipline. Yes? What did you learn from those documents? The location of the last Salamander cell in Vizima's merchant quarter. I'll hurry there now. Not so simple. It's beyond the supervised zone. Entrance is forbidden. So what's the plan? A city guard officer is our informer. He's posted in Vizima's streets. How will I recognize him? He'll respond to a password. Speak the words, The Lily has yet to be engulfed by flames. I'm getting tired of this espionage crap. He will answer, Three Lilies make one. He will direct you to the hideout. Yes? The Lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Do you want flowers or something? I mean... Go and bother somebody else. Quite the dangerous one bearing weapons on your back. Yes? The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? Is that a password? Is it? Wait, are you testing me? Hey lads, I think we've got a troublemaker. No, I made a mistake. Give it up! I agreed to meet a friend here. I should toss you in the dungeon. You're lucky I'm receiving a medal from Princess Ada soon. A medal? For fighting the elven terrorists. Aren't there more pressing problems? What about the plague? Monsters? Do I look like a sap to you? A terrorist bags twice as much gold as a Kikimor. And they're probably much easier to capture. Capture? One need only identify a non-human collaborator. Yes? The lily has yet to be engulfed by fire. What? I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Three lilies make one. You could have thought up an easier password. Okay, here's the plan. At midnight, my unit will arrive in the sewers. You're not coming with me? We'll watch your back, but only for two hours. See you there. Men, turn hut! Forward march! Comrades, the ladder. Everything ready. We're expecting the salamanders shortly. They know we're here? No, but they're vigilant. They have an important guest.
Duty calls. Just a moment. Hurry! Now to begin. Akayala Ambra Kur. We have picture. A blurry one. We may not connect with the Redanians today. Easy, the crystal's warming up. I'll boost the magical correlation. It worked! We have picture! I greet you. Greetings, sir. Enough formalities. What do you want? Our military bases around Vizima have been broken up. Spies from Nilfgaard may have played a part. So you're hip deep in manure. Why contact me? Sir, we're requesting financial assistance. Why would I help you? Our mutual acquaintances are working for people with close ties to you. You must think me mad. But sir... You're in over your heads. All your experiments, fifth tech deals. I won't help you. Shh! Hear something? In the corridor! You will die slow. Slaughter. Here I feared those idiots would bore me with incessant pleas. But they proved entertaining after all. Who are you? Radovid. I don't like being interrupted. Listen, Radovid. I don't much care what you like. You'd better explain your connection to Salamandra. I'm sure we'll meet someday. <laughs> Nobody said that to me in a long time. I like you. You go straight for the jugular. I'll tell you who I am. I'm not out of fear. I share nothing in common with Salamandra, absolutely nothing. I once thought to use them as a tool, but I changed my mind. A tool? Political leverage, Witcher. Can you be clearer? I can, but I won't. Suffice to say that Salamandra's actions don't suit me right now, which makes us allies. Good luck, Witcher, and say hello to Ada. <laughs>
Geralt. You know me? Uh, it's me. It's me, Captain Vincent. This explains your disappearances at night. I was covering you. Those imbeciles didn't even crawl from the sewer. You want thanks? Just tell me what you learned. Radovid spoke to the salamanders through a teleprojection. The King of Redania? Some support? No, he refused, but they have mutual friends. Anything else? Nothing special. We're on the same side. I can help you break the werewolf spell. No need. I'm better at catching criminals this way. Also, the criminals fear this terrible monster that defends the poor. <laughs> Meaning me. Why should I spare you? Why wouldn't you? You kill humans. How many have fallen by your sword? I'm not a monster on the inside, unlike you. You're right. Appearances don't matter. Thank you. Let us both be on our way. Vincent the Werewolf. Did he think himself a superhero? Witcher. Listen, I found a magical stone at the Salamandra hideout. Interesting. Let me see. Geralt, it's a telecommunicator. It leaves a magical trace of any transfers. Use plain language. With a bit of luck, we can use this to find the Salamandra base. So? I need to speak with Luvarden. We'll talk later. I need some time to myself. Come back later. We have news about Salamandra. Good news, I hope. Alas, no. Its influence reaches further than we anticipated. And you have an offer for me. Why the sarcasm? Salamandra has strong political backing. We've been unable to convince town or military authorities to take them on. How is that possible? I suspect it relates to recent suspicious edicts. What will you do? We need support. An army unit or similar force. How does that involve me? We'd like you to negotiate with our potential allies. Who do you have in mind? Salamandra have ruffled some feathers. The Squirta. The Order of the Flaming Rose. I'll see what I can do. If you succeed, we will meet them here. Quiet! Alvin's asleep. Know anything more about that magic communicator I gave you? It allows conversations over short distances. With some knowledge of magic, one can draw quite a bit of information from it. If the salamanders were using it to communicate with their base, I should be able to pinpoint its location. Short distances. Interesting. Can you check the last communication? The communicator sent a signal to a house in Vizima. It's marked on your map. Is there something I should know? I have a hunch. I'll check it out. All right, but be careful. Listen, about my identity. Progress already? 
I agreed to help Siegfried in the Order of the Flaming Rose. I wonder if the former Geralt would have done the same. Interesting. Why help the Order? What drove you to do that? I don't understand the non-humans. Of two evils, I think the Order is the lesser one. And therein lies the voice of reason. Hysterics and madmen who led youths to certain death always angered you. I'm not surprised you chose the Order. Was I really so reasonable? Unfortunately, though I admit there were times when you followed your heart. All this soul-searching has yet to restore my memory. Patience. We're on the right path. Hope so. Hello again, Witcher. Greetings, Radovid. No magic mirror between us this time. I'm pleased you found my sanctuary. Triss Merigold lent a hand, am I right? You know Triss? Not personally, but I know Philippa Eilhart, and that's like knowing all sorceresses. I wish to speak with you, Witcher. Who are you? And I don't mean your name. Good question. But one with no simple answer. I was raised at the Redanian Royal Court. My father was murdered during the war with Nilfgaard. Ever since I lost interest in toys, I've strived to regain my heritage, find my father's murderers, and introduce order to my lands. Sadly, I'm surrounded by corrupt traitors, overly ambitious sorceresses, and frustrated chaplains of the Eternal Fire. From what I've seen, the upper crust in Temeria is the same. Nothing attracts sons of bitches like power. You wanted something? Familiar with these strange edicts in Vizima? I've heard about them. They bear the royal seal, but some suspect fraud. Tell me more. It's just as Tala said. Foltest didn't sign these. I'd recognize his signature. You know Tala? Certainly. I'd be a fool not to know Temeria's chief of intelligence. So Foltest didn't declare martial law? No. I feel I should inform him of this. Who is Philippa? One of Redania's most prominent citizens. She has bribed, dazzled, or bullied half of Redania's elite. She also belongs to the Lodge of Sorceresses, as does your Triss. They don't accept sorcerers? No. Each sorceress believes she's to decide the fate of the world. Sometimes they do. If you say so. Don't disregard sorceresses. Beautiful, wise, helpful. At least so they present themselves. Someday, I'll put them in their place. Though in her favor, Triss once betrayed her girlfriends. I trust Triss. Mark my words. What's your connection to Ada? I had hoped to persuade her to marry the King of Redania, which would benefit both kingdoms. With Foltest's help, our king could finally rid himself of all the parasites surrounding him. In turn, Redania could support Temeria in its fight against the Scoia'tael. I need not mention the benefits of increased trade. The kingdoms united could resist the expanding powers of the knightly orders and the guilds. Additionally... Enough. You've convinced me. But I'm not Ada. And you, Witcher, what do you think of Foltest's daughter? What do you want to know? You're an expert on monsters. You broke her Strigger spell. True. Hmm. Can she bear children? I don't see why not. Healthy human children? I believe so. One of the knowing could examine her. Thank you. Keep this conversation confidential, and please don't meddle in Redania's dynastic intentions. I generally don't meddle, so you have nothing to fear, Your Majesty. <laughs> when did you figure it out? Well, there's the way you spoke of Redania, of Ada, and then there's your ring. If ever in Redania, visit the royal court. Farewell. Farewell, King. Greetings. You've returned safely. The Hierophant revealed the cure for lycanthropy, but I must know your beloved's name. I'll not betray my man's identity. I'd rather he stay a werewolf. Carmen, I already know that Vincent's the werewolf. Please don't hurt him. I'll try to help him. Listen carefully. Yes? I spoke to the Hierophant about your man's affliction. Oh. Overnight, Vincent should wear a shirt woven from fool's parsley, and the spell will be lifted. That's what I'll do. I brought the parsley leaves. Weave a shirt for Vincent to lift the spell. Thank you. I'll start immediately. Hmm. 
Yes. Did the shirt cure Vincent? It was terrifying. The moon appeared, Vincent transformed, shredded the shirt, and ran off. Calm down, Carmen. Maybe another method will be more effective. Yes? What's your real name? Hella, but that's too common. Farewell. Yes? Can you make a potion to cure lycanthropy? Hmm, never tried. The potion's for a werewolf, the beloved of a young woman. Usually I'd refuse, but I owe you. Let's see. Ingredients, check. Equipment, check. Come back later, okay? Yes? Did you finish the lycanthropy potion? Yes, but... She will administer it at her own risk once it drops in one of her tears. The potion needs a virgin's tear to work. Wait, you said nothing about a virgin. You said a young maiden. I assumed she wasn't yet married. Ah, uh, Caldstein. You need to get out more. Where will I find a virgin? A virgin's tear is vital. It can't be difficult to find one. The only good elves are dead elves. All non-humans are the same. The elves are worst. I've despised those bastards since my daughter. Let's drink. Why do you gaze at me so? Forgive me for being blunt, but are you a virgin? The impertinence. May I help? Forgive me. I need a virgin's tear to cure a man's curse. A surprising proposition. I thought you could help. Helping others is my calling. And you found the right person. I'll shed a tear for you. Thank you. Yes? Here's a magic potion against lycanthropy. It should help. How will I repay you? Don't tell anyone I did this for free. I have my reputation. I'll give this potion to Vincent. Yes? Did the potion work? Oh, Master Witcher. I made certain Vincent drank it, but nothing happened. We'll find another way. Yes? I've heard stories of true love changing beasts into men. But we make love regularly. Love means more than frolicking in bed. I know Vincent doesn't love me. Sometimes when he's angry, he calls me a vile whore. Carmen. I know I turn tricks. But for him, I'd agreed to be like other girls. Damn it. I'd even learned how to embroider. Listen, it's clear Vincent's lycanthropy isn't your biggest problem. Tell him you love him, and how you tried to cure him. If he's not a complete swine, he'll react. He's unsure. Torn between me and his work. He needs to set his priorities straight. Witcher, please talk to him. He's at the station. Greetings. Carmen asked me to see you. Witcher detective turns Witcher therapist. In brief, Carmen doesn't like you being a werewolf. What's your beef? It's not my choice. I can lift the curse, but you must desire it. You want to be with Carmen? Witcher... Will you give up your superhuman strength for love? Strength I use against evil. Strength that will one day consume you. You still have a choice. I'll think about it, Witcher. Love can move mountains, but... It must be true. Yes? I saw Vincent. Oh, Witcher. I don't know how to thank you. I'm awash in happiness. We had an honest conversation. I told him everything. How much I love him. Finally. He said if I cared so much, maybe this love deserves a chance. First time I ever saw him cry. Sometimes the simplest solutions are best. But that's not all. I haven't found hair in our bed recently. Maybe... Never mind, I don't want to jinx it. I have to believe that everything will be all right. That's good to hear. True love can work wonders. Geralt? How's your leg? Fine. 
a mere scratch. Everything all right? I'm to receive a medal for saving the property of some townspeople. I see. You'd be eligible, but medals are only awarded to knights. Unless... No, I won't join with that vow of celibacy. I understand. Hey, the Grand Master himself is going to present the medal to me. Yes? I have a proposal. Will you help me destroy the Salamandra? How? I have powerful friends who know how to destroy it. Is this some political plot? Siegfried, you trusted me at the bank. Okay. Any details? The new Naracourt Tavern. Come by tonight. I'll be there. Wait for our signal. Sure you're not spoiling, Alvin? I don't want him getting fussy. Listen, I've found us some allies. Great. In time for our meeting with Luvarden. We'll discuss it with him. Agreed. Geralt, you should know we've angered some powerful people. This meeting could change much. What do you mean? Tend to any unfinished business in Vizima and prepare. Afterwards, it may be too late. I'm ready. Let's meet at the new Naracourt. I'll inform the interested parties. How do you know who? I'm a sorceress, remember? And you think so loud, I can't help reading your mind. I want a puppy. You'll get a dog someday, I promise. You're in danger. What? Why? The militia learned of your meetings. Salamandra has spies in the army. You must flee. No, I won't. I must speak to the others. The Salamanders will be here soon. Then I'll face them. You run. <laughs> you must think poorly of me if you believe I'd let you face them alone. I expected you'd stay and fight. My people are ready. They volunteered. Don't get yourself killed. If anything should happen to you, Carmen... ...will understand. City guards? How did you... You're not the only ones with informers in the army. Vincent, siding with the Witcher was foolish. You don't stand a chance. We'll see. This is your final... <laughs> scorn and meanness, a world full of bandits and murderers, true love can still work wonders. Lost causes are worth a struggle. A fairy tale. Geralt, we were waiting. Greetings. I was worried. Decided anything? The Order is apparently willing to cooperate. We will rid Vizima of this evil once and for all. Misunderstandings do arise between different members of the Order, but I take it we're clear about what we're doing. Misunderstandings? No matter. Apparently we're to be magically transferred somewhere. Triss will teleport you and Siegfried to the Salamandra base. You'll open the gates for the knights. When? Still needs deciding. Quiet. I hear footsteps. Was I followed? The door is locked. Open up in the name of King Foltest and the Flaming Rose! It's De Wet. Traitorous monk. A disgrace to our profession. I didn't foresee this problem. Siegfried! I know you're associating with that witch! You're finished! Triss, can you transfer us now? Is that wise? This may be our only chance. Ah, Kimbaga, hara! I knew this knight who turned to soup while being teleported. 
I'm counting to three! You're screwed, Siegfried! Soup? Maybe, uh... Dark Ambra Der Hadrin! Where the hell am I? Triss overdid it this time. Although, better here than the middle of some banquet. Hey! Hey! There's no time to lose. Siegfried? Open the gate and let the order inside. Where's Triss? She stayed behind to deal with that lunatic, DeWet. She told me to warn you that Azar has gained immense power thanks to some book. I know the story. Would you take on the entire base yourself? Any ideas? The Salamanders are using a magic portal to enter their base. Cursed elven magic. Can we use it? The sorceress said it is activated by a magic stone. There is something of the sort in the cave, to the right. Expecting you. I see we're all here. Good. We can resolve this. Ha! You've learned nothing from our last meeting. Even Siegfried of Dinell would follow you into fire. All is aligning with the grand plan. Should you demonstrate wisdom, you'll see it realized. What if I refuse? 
Witches are simple and sentimental. Don't make me laugh, Geralt. Simplicity suits you like a fist in the nose, and sentimentality suits you even less. You can't deny that. You're too smart. Besides, who do you want to defend? Faltest, a monarch with more sins on his conscience than the professor has long words in his vocabulary? Faltest impregnated his own sister and let his offspring eat the city's inhabitants for years. Furthermore, during the war, he allowed Nilfgaard to plunder and torch neighboring allied kingdoms. What's your point, Javed? If not Faltest, then who? The Lodge of Sorceresses? You know not what those bitches did to influence post-war treaties. The resettlements, deportations, the unresolved matter of the Scoia'tael and others. Your dazzling conclusion? Salamandra is not evil. Not more than those with the will to shape their own fate. <laughs> Any other stunning remarks, or can we start killing? Remember the magic book from the tower in the swamp. Observe some useful spells. I never expected a similar challenge. Professor, let's go. I lost the skirmish in the swamp. Javed made off with the book. This marked the true beginning of our conflict. Though Javed escaped once more, on balance things are rather favorable. Three Salamandra bases annihilated, new allies gained, and the Professor for dessert. Geralt! Are you well? What... happened? What a blow! And a miracle you still live! I am... alive. Professor escaped, and the barrier blocks our path. I'll find him. The book in the swamp contains some interesting spells, including Alzor's shield, which even Professor can use to destroy you. Observe. I seriously doubt it. Goodbye, Geralt. No doubt your life will end soon and how useless it's been. You'll die knowing you're an aberration. You're so full of shit, Professor. Why do you seek to prevent the creation of new witches? The answer's simple. You feel you have no rightful place in this world. You owe your existence to the conjunction of spheres. 
but your creators erred. Know how? Enlighten me. They failed to strip you of emotion. You were meant to slay monsters without making judgments, philosophizing or nursing doubts. You're ineffective. Well, this ineffective, doubt-ridden historical freak is about to kill you. Let's dance. You've triumphed. Go ahead. Your invaluable witch's treasure awaits. You have what you wanted. Show mercy. Ever hurts to ask. So you can parry arrows in flight.
I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death, sentenced to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Sorry, Hada. Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. You wish, Witcher. He has been spirited away. Someone will pay for this.